welcome to chemistry lover and in this video series we are talking about the reactions and the reactivity of carbonyl compounds so no discussion on carbonyl compound can be complete without the discussion of these four reactions they are namely the stobe reaction reformatorsky reaction novenagel reaction and the dargins glyceric ester reaction so today in this video i will be talking about all these four reactions and i will show you how you can learn all these reactions and their mechanism very simply just by considering two reactions the aldol condensation and the clays and ester condensation so you don't have to separately read all these four reactions if you know about aldol condensation and clays and ester condensation and the simple concept of E1 CB elimination then you can easily learn all these four reactions so this re this approach of teaching these four reactions will be a bit different so watch this video till the end to understand the concept okay so first let me uh, revise once the co uh, concept of aldol condensation and clays and ester condensation so what happens in aldol reaction so this is your carbonyl compound right which has a alpha hydrogen and in basic medium the aldol reaction occurs through deprotonation from here so these protons are acidic because deprotonation from here will give you enolate so they are delocalized and that's why these uh, protons are acidic now after the formation of this it will attack another uh, another protonated uh, or ne neutral um, carbonyl compound and this attack will lead to the formation of this intermediate right this o minus this now the reaction is occurring in a oh minus and water so that's why protonation can easily take place here so easily protonation can take place and then after that another fold of deprotonation from here will give you enolate a new enolate and now finally this will kick off this oh group and this is the what this is the e1 cb elimination right so if you forget let me remind you this is the e1 cb reaction so this is how you get the aldol condensation product the condensation product so this is the overall mechanism of aldol reaction now what is the mechanism of clays and ester condensation so in case of clays and ester condensation instead of normal ketone you have this ester right this is the simple ester now in the first now i will not show the reversible step and all this because i am not going to discuss about the clays and ester condensation in detail here i am just giving the overview right so that's why i am putting this normal arrow actually it is a reversible step so first the deprotonation will give you this uh, enolate right so this enolate you will get and now this enolate will attack on the neutral ester so this ester is different from the previous one because here you have a leaving group in case of aldol you didn't have a leaving group initially but now you have a leaving group so in this case you get directly this product so you have this and this right so in this case you are directly getting this product so this is the reaction mechanism of clays and ester now there is a step of deprotonation which will finally be protonated and you will give the neutral product but i am not considering these steps here because i am just giving the overview so now just remember these two reactions and by using these two steps you can uh, study all these four reactions so first let us see what is the reaction of stobe what is the stobe reaction so in case of stobe reaction so in all this case all these four reactions you have a carbonyl compound which is generally of the form like this so why i am putting these two phenyl groups here because i want a carbonyl group which is devoid of any alpha hydrogen atom now if alpha hydrogen is there then also the reaction occurs because in case of uh, acetone like molecule or acetaldehyde like molecule there also the reaction occurs but the reaction is based when you have you don't have any alpha hydrogen atom in your one partner because otherwise you will get a mixture of product you will get a cell condensation and all these things so selectively we take a carbonyl compound where you have this or you can take a carbonyl compound like this also so our goal is to take a carbonyl compound which is devoid of any alpha hydrogen atom and in case of stobe reaction another partner is this one so this is your another partner the diester now this diester is separated by two carbon atoms in between them right now if you don't have any 
deprotonating uh, or any alpha hydrogen in your one partner so if you treat this with base like sodium ethoxide like sodium ethoxide what will happen it, it has only one option it can take proton from here because these protons are acidic now if it takes proton from here what you will get you will get the enolate you will get the enolate over here this is the enolate now this enolate will attack on your another partner so this partner is here so it will attack on this partner like this okay so that will give you this so i don't know what is the mechanism of strawberry reaction i am just deriving the product you don't have to memorize everything you just do the steps as you know with your chemical intuition so after the formation of o minus finally it will be protonated from ethanol because you are doing the reaction in ethanol medium so it, it will take the proton so i'm just directly writing oh over here and here you have two phenyl groups like this right now again if you remember the e1cb step of aldol condensation reaction so same e1cb reaction can happen from here and if that occurs what you will get you will get this as your product so this is one side and in another side you have this OET. So this is simple mechanism. This can happen, but here is the trick. So here this step is actually not occurring. And although the reaction is occurring in ethanol medium, the protonation will take some time. So we just write it as O minus. Right? We can write it because protonation will take some time. Now in between, apart from taking proton from the reaction medium, one thing it can do is it can attack on this carbonyl group here this option was not there for aldol condensation reaction but now it can attack over here and that will form a one two three four five a, a nice five membered ring so it will give you a nice five membered ring like this here and uh, here you have this okay and on this side basically you have this ph ph and here you have this co2 et so this is the thing you are getting now again there is interesting step so this is a species from where so the reaction is occurring in basic medium and ethoxide can take proton from either here or from here because both protons are acidic now if it take this proton what will happen it will simply give you this kind of enolate simple enolate like this ph ph and this this simple enolate you are getting but this enolate can do nothing it will stay as it is but another option is when the proton goes from here so now you are getting a useful enolate so what you are getting you are getting something like this uh, o minus and oet and here you have this now see if this push this go here this will open right so from here what you are getting you are getting this as your product so one side you have this ester group another side you have this acid group directly so this is your product of a stobe reaction this thing will add and you have one side you have this ester in another side you have acid but one carbon apart so this is overall mechanism of stobe reaction now you, you can see all the steps here are here is actually there in the aldol condensation reaction so there is nothing new now let us see the second thing the second reaction is the Novenagel reaction. What is Novenagel reaction? So in this case also same one partner is like this, this carbonyl species. Generally it is taken as uh, having no alpha hydrogen atom. And another partner here is the active methylene compound like this. Active methyl methylene compound. So these protons are called active methylene protons and they are, they are very much acidic so they are such acidic that you can do the reaction in uh, normal amine with normal amine so this simple amine nitrogen lone pair will take this proton to give you this 
now why we are using this weak base we will see in a moment so uh, this is how you will get the inolate first now on this you know the inolate now it can attack on this other carbonyl partner so that will give you this thing so you can see here you have this so i am writing this oh uh, i am not writing o minus but one step I, I, I am writing the OH. Now you can see from here the E1CB elimination can occur just like aldol condensation reaction and if that occur you will get this as your product. So this is the product you are going to get. So in this case in both side you have the um, acetate group or uh, sorry you have the ester group. Right? So, this is the Novenagel reaction. Now, what? why you are uh, using this weak base? Because if you remember, I, I said that I am writing this in one step. So, basically it will form O minus first, but then it will take proton from the protonated species, protonated base. So, this base after taking the proton, it will be like this. So, it will take the proton from the protonated form of the base to become the protonated species. So this is the mechanism of Nobenegel condensation. You can see it is basically a kind of aldol reaction, right? Now the next reaction is a mixed aldol and uh, Claisen ester condensation because both you will get flavor of both. So it is between the, so the one partner is same for all these four reaction, the simple carbonyl group and another partner over here is let's say this so phenyl you cannot you, you you may not write phenyl here you can put anything over here but in this side you have this bromine so this is alpha halo actually it will be ester right so this alpha halo ester is the another partner and it is done with the help of zinc so here the step is not very simple but for the simplicity in books you will see that they will show like this so zinc will give a proton here it will go and this so basically it is a zinc enolate formation and you have this zinc over here and this so you you get the the enolate right in case of ester also you get the same thing in case of Claisen ester condensation we did it with ethoxide but we got the same thing right we got the same thing here also we get some enolate but it is zinc enolate that is the difference now in case of Claisen ester condensation this will attack on another uh, neutral ester but in this case you have another carbonyl partner so instead of attacking on the same ester it will attack on the other carbonyl partner so this is your carbonyl partner and it will attack over here so that will basically give you something like this now this will be like aldol because here what is the thing here you don't have any living group in case of Claisen ester you direct have a living group so that can live but now it is more like aldol so you don't have any, any living group so only chance is e1cb and by this e1cb mechanism it will form something like this so this is the product of your Novenagel condensation. So this is the Novenagel condensation. Alpha bromoester and carbonyl compound will give you this condensation product. This uh, carbonyl group will just add over here. Now the last reaction and this is quite interesting and that is the Dargen's glycidic ester reaction and it also start with alpha halo ketones and another partner is simple ketone sorry alpha halo ester but here the alpha halo is generally alpha chloro and we don't want to get rid of this chlorine first we will make this enolate not with the help of zinc but with the help of base like sodium ethoxide so sodium ethoxide will take proton from here and it will give you simple enolate so this is your simple enolate which also have this chlorine now this enolate will attack on this carbonyl group so what will happen very simple you will get this thing O minus and this now the interesting thing is you can see this O minus can do neighboring group participation to kick off this chlorine and if this occur you will get this and here you have this epoxide right so this is the thing 
सो दिस इज कॉल्ड ग्लाइसिडिक एस्टर बिकॉज यू हैव दिस एस्टर ग्रुप एंड दिस अटैस्ट इपोक्साइड रिंग सो दिस इज कॉल्ड ग्लाइसिडिक एस्टर एंड ओवरऑल द रिएक्शन इज कॉल्ड डार्जेंस ग्लाइसिडिक एस्टर कॉन्डेंसेशन so you can see all these four reactions are very simple they have a very common mechanism and that is the aldol condensation and e1cb uh, elimination so this is the thing so if i summarize all these reactions i can summarize all this reaction very easily and you can remember that so our one partner is this simple uh, carbonyl compound the ketone in case of stobe reaction you have this and with the help of base like sodium ethoxide here what you get you get in one side you get ester in another side you get acid so this is the stobe reaction the first one right the next one is the novenagel reaction novenagel reaction and uh, so actually i d i said a wrong thing that the third reaction was actually reformatorsky reaction and this is the novenagel reaction in case of novenagel reaction you use some weak base like amine and here what you get you get this compound this condensation compound in case of so this is novenagel this is stobe the third one is the reformatorsky reaction and in this case you use alpha bromo ester right alpha bromo ester you use and you get this condensation product and the final reaction is the dargens glycidic ester reaction where you use generally the alpha chloro and so here the reagent is zinc and here the reagent is sodium ethoxide so in dargens glycidic ester you get uh, this glycidic ester compound so this is the summary for all this four reaction one partner is same the simple carbonyl compound or simple ketone and if you vary the other partner you get all these four reactions in uh, in all these three you have base like ethoxide in one case you only using the metal the zinc so i hope that uh, you understood all these four reactions and also revised the concept of aldol and claisen ester condensation so if you like this video give a thumbs up also let me know in the comment section how the video was and share this video with your friends thank you for watching